Firefighters in Sweden say their battle for control is far from over. Remarkably, nobody's been injured by the dozens of wildfires. The government's appealed for help from other countries. Italy, France and Norway have responded by sending water bombing helicopters and planes, as well as emergency personnel. The government is ready to take all necessary decisions and supply all needed resources. Our duty is to support all agencies so that they have what they need to get the fires under control. And therefore, the government is following this event closely, every minute, every day. Unusually high temperatures across the whole Nordic region, up to 33 Celsius, coupled with virtually no rain for several weeks, have made the vegetation here highly flammable. Finland and Norway have also had wildfires in the last week, but it's Sweden that suffered the most. This dairy farmer says the grass is normally much longer right now, and that's a real problem. We don't use this much bales uh, normally. Uh, I think we've, we used to feed about three or four a day. And now it's five or six, just to keep the cows alive. <laughs> In some areas, homeowners have been moved to safety, while thousands of Swedes have been warned to stay indoors with the windows shut to avoid breathing in smoky air. The situation is very serious. Uh, the rescue services do not see that the biggest fires will be able to be extinguished in the near future due to the weather in the upcoming week. And uh, at the moment, the focus is on delaying and requesting uh, and trying to, um, well, delay and hinder the spreading of the fires. Swedish authorities say that as of Thursday, an area equivalent to 20,000 football pitches had burned. That's ten times the size you'd expect in a normal year. And some fires are still spreading. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.